Alright, so here's a new Quark design pad on the iPad. Just came out. Today is uh, 4th of April, 2013. And I just made a quick video showing how to get Quark Design Pad into InDesign via PDF. And that's one of the new features, that being exporting the PDF in the new Design Pad. You can now print and uh, some other export options as well, I'll show you. So let's just start a new document. And you get a a list of templates to start, you know, to, to, to help you get going with. You can basically edit these in any form you like, so it's just a real quick start, which is really important on an iPad because normally you are on the go and want to get something done relatively quickly, yet professionally. And that's what you're going to see here. All right, to start off with, let's make a little brochure here. And you'll see you get a nice template to start making your brochure with a headline and blocks of text and smaller text under the images. Now to add an image you just click on the area where and we could click the, the layout grid here. Uh, sorry. This one. Get the nice grid so you can see where the boxes are. So let's start first with adding in some some text. And we get this text here. Alright, so you typed in some text here, and it's that easy. You click Done, and now you have the headline right up in there. Now you can make further adjustments as you wish. Alright, now we next want to add in an image. And I'm not going to go over, you can obviously add text in the same way you click you go in. You can obviously copy and paste text in as well. No problem. Alright, so now we go into an image. and We click here, Options to add images. We can add an image from our camera roll. If you select that, we get a list of potential images we can scroll through. And then we can Choose one. You can zoom in and out of your layout at any time. Cloud here, your stock images. We can get a whole list of get your stock images, and there you can choose, for instance, whatever you like. Let's choose. Uh, you know this image here. Alright, so now we have a nice little brochure, obviously completely fictional. Your headline, you have your body of text, and you have your your uh, your images. Now you can give this a name by clicking here. iPad test. We could always add new images if we wanted to. Now we get a, an image back here in that background. So there's a lot of things you can do to make your layout really professional. You can set transparencies, etc. So we can set the transparency here. So we just want it a little bit lighter. Very nice. So there you have a simple little layout. It's pretty easy to make. You can choose any any item and you can you can move it around. So also pretty neat, you can also just rotate like that. So pretty neat what you can do. Let's see if we can get that back in the in the shape there. So a lot of functionality and I'm just, you know, getting to grips with the new version as well. A lot of cool things you can do. But now the new the cool thing is you can now in this icon here get a host of options, email link to Quark Express doc. Well, let's see how that works.
little pre-flight message. Turn that one off. But also, you can email a PDF file. Or just a ping if you, if you just want to use this image online or whatnot. And you can also upload the Dropbox. Very popular. And you can print. Another new feature. And I like that save the camera roll. But let's email PDF. Let's export this layout as a PDF. And we get an option. A crystal clear RGB PDF for sharing and printing. Upgrade now. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, that was easy. You own it. <laughs> also, the problem with the kids, if they like a game, they own it also very quick. And now when we click email PDF file, you'll see the email pops up. Okay? And you see you get a nice little email with uh, everything you need in there. Okay, send that off. That is Quark Design Pad for the iPad. Great app to create very professional layouts when you're on the go, on the train or on the airplane or waiting. This is a great tool. A lot of designers are talking about it and I just want to share with you here today. What we can show you later now is how we can get that PDF and the Quark file, how we can then convert that data. So for instance, now with that PDF, we can get a Quark design document right into Adobe InDesign or right into an older version of Quark with our PDF to DTP for Quark Express or PDF to DTP for InDesign. We can convert these Quark Design Pad PDFs right into various versions of Quark Express and Adobe InDesign. Very interesting tool from MarkSquare PDF to DTP. Alrighty, there you go. That's uh, introduction to Quark Design Pad. This is David Dilling from MarkSquare wishing you a fantastic day.